We're just getting um, this posted into a few groups and then we're going to get started. We're going to get all of our hosts time to get this going in all of their classes. So in the meantime, just have a look at what we have here and we'll get started in just a minute. I forgot to put a do not disturb on my phone. Um, we are making lots of things for our charcuterie boards. Um, some bibs and we've got some meats and some cheeses and um, what else have we got? We're going to steam some potatoes and make some salsa and some guac. Actually, do you want to chop the large of those potatoes in half and let's just throw those yeah, in? Yeah, if there's any that are like sort of double the size, let's just yeah. make those half the size using your beautiful ceramic knife. I already scrubbed these from looking at the potatoes. Yes, yeah, so we've washed our potatoes. for this class in different sorts of host groups. Uh, now, there's a bit of a lag, so if you ask a question, when we're looking at the computer screen to answer your question, there's a lag. So it will be a little bit behind, okay? So, uh, and I can see myself doing some sort of weird movement like this, so I'm already freaked out. Okay. <laughs> so, when I told my daughter that we were gonna make appy boards today and we we're gonna like try to make a whole bunch of stuff super fast, She's like, I'm in, and then I said, you know what, Like, let's do a little bit of a battle of the boards, and she was even more in. So, let's just show you what we have here. Now, I want you to comment, if you're watching this after the fact, I want you to comment replay. If you're watching this live with us right now, I want you to tell us if you're a consultant, if you're a customer, if you're in a cooking class, whose class you're in. Let's get the conversation going. And if you know Epicure, please at any time jump in. And for those of you that it's brand new, I'm going to give you a little bit of information about who we are, what we stand for, and then we're going to start cooking for you. So Epicure is a food company. We are all about good, fast, delicious meals in your belly that are, you know, easy to do. Okay, so that's what we're going to show tonight. We're going to, I think we're making like 12 different quick appies to go on our boards. Um, and then we're going to see who's is better. You know, no competition. I had actual professionals. Yes, she's a professional. So she's probably going to do a better job. She did do this for she did do this for a summer. So um, Epicure, we don't have anything in our packages. You're going to notice the ingredients are really pure and clean. There is low sodium, low sugar, no, low or no. You know, there's no scary stuff. There's low or no sugars, um, and. Yeah, low salt, and the catalog will show you. So when you're looking at our online catalog, you can see what's vegan. You can see what's, everything's gluten-free, 100% gluten-free, 100% tree nut free. Um, yeah, no scary chemicals. Okay, so we're gonna cook with a bunch of different things. We're gonna give you a quick overview of what we're gonna cook with. And we are using Epicure cookware because part of putting delicious meals on the table quickly is great cookware to do that with. And then we'll be using a number of different Epicure seasonings. And you know what? This is pandemic cooking. So we don't have the things that we necessarily wanted to cook with, because that's how it goes. So we're going to cook with what we have, and we're going to show you how to use some of our uh, blends in ways you haven't done yet, okay? So I want you to watch what we're doing here tonight, because it is super easy. You can all do this at home. I can even show you what, like give you our little menu if you want it. If you want a copy of what we made and how we made it, just say that in the comments and I'll just do up a little doc for you that shows all of that. Um, now, and thank you all that are there with your host classes. Thank you to your host and thank you to the many consultants that are watching us here today. We hope to show you some new ideas and you know, even if you're gonna be at home, you can have delicious 
easy appy bruise feel like you went out to a fancy restaurant in not a lot of time, okay? So let's dive in. We'll share more Epicure with you along the way, talk a little bit about our cookware. But I do just want to say that, you know what? Her birth was how come I ended up staying home. So I started my business to get red pepper jelly and lemon dilly at a discount. And, you know, I was never really going to do anything with it. I discovered a little bit in that, oh my gosh, there's a great income to be made. And I knew that at some point I'd have a second child and I'd never go back to work when I did. So she's 19 next month, and I have been working from home with my baby uh, for 19 years. And of course, now not anymore, because she's gone. She's not my baby. She's not even at home anymore. So it's really nice that she came home today to cook with me. Okay, so let's talk about what we're going to make. Let's jump in. Oh, wait. If you're at home and you don't want to make money, uh, look how easy this is. We're just going to stand here and talk about food, and then I'm going to get paid, and then we're going to eat the food. So it's a pretty awesome career. Of course, there's a little more to it than that, but that's really how easy it can be for somebody who just wants to share food with their friends. Now, Lex, what's the first thing you're going to make? Um, I'm going to make trio dip. Extraordinary trio. Yep. Oh, yes. So we always called it X dip when she was a kid. So you know what? We're going to use some cream cheese. This is straight out of the fridge. So I'm going to recommend that she soften that for about 30 seconds in the microwave, just so it's easier to mix. And you know, why do more work than you have to? So I want to know who, who has uses that little trick for the cream cheese. Let me just, I'm just going to adjust something on my computer here so I can see. Thank you. Um, so I want to know who's, if you're making a warm, gooey dip, do you soften your cream cheese? Because, man, it's such a good hack. So while she's doing that, I want to tell them about what else is in that. And I'm just going to get some cucumbers sliced up on my mandolin. So we're going to use lemon dilly, which is one of my favorites, which I know has been better out. to the lower piece of my cucumber, I'm going to protect myself with this very robust hand protector, okay? And then as well as the lemon dilly, I'm going to use cheese head making, which is also something I always, always eat. Now it's new and improved. And it's now called CCB. Oh, yes. Not okay, cheese so head That stands for cheese head and bacon, but if you're looking for that online, you'll look for CCB. And then rather than three onions, since we ran out, we're going to use garlic and onion, which is, I think it's same thing, just more ground up, right? Well, it's garlic. Three onion doesn't have any garlic in it. Oh. So that'll be the big difference. It's going to get a really delicious extra flavor. So our second choice, when we were going to make our friend of trio, was toasted onion. Well, I'm out of that. You know, so apparently I need to place an epicure order, and she gave me a big one, and she shut up. Well, because you said you didn't have three onion, I said I did. So the easiest way to make your extraordinary trio soften your cream cheese, we're just doing a half batch because we're going to have a lot of food here today. So this is a half a cup of cream cheese. So we're going to put in like a splash each around a quarter cup of Greek yogurt and mayonnaise because we really want to take down the fat quotient. The spoon's on the counter. We really want to take down the fat quotient and we can heat it the microwave without worrying about it sort of going greasy. So it's a win-win. So now we've got our cucumbers. Now I want you to see this. Look how cute. Did you see how fast that was? Did you eat it? Like, it was so fast, you probably didn't even see it happen, right? Okay, I'm kidding. But it was really awesome. <laughs> so, hang on, I'm running out of places to put vegetables and things. So, there's my cucumbers done. I'm going to do a few more. So, I want to show you this mandolin. Like, here's the deal, guys. If you don't have a mandolin, this is the one for you. I've got to grab an extra blade here. Watch out, puppy. Get out of the kitchen. Puppy's in the kitchen. This is the puppy that's going to be fed all the time here in the kitchen. He just needs to wait over there. That's his usual spot. Mm -hmm. So if you've ever seen me cooking, I had a great quote at my last cooking class. They called him the puppy garberator or the pupperator or the doggerator. I can't remember, but it was really awesome. He was very cute. So I've got all my things, my mayo. You can probably see like a big, big, huge tablespoon of my mayo and then my cream for yogurt, which is basically your sour cream. And a teaspoon of each? Yeah, we'll go with a teaspoon of each. Okay, so I've just cut my second cucumber here. Look at that. Look how fast I did a large julienne on that cucumber. There's no way I'm doing that in, you know, that fast by hand. And it's really, it's a cucumber, so I can just rinse it off and call it a day. So I'm going to use these for one of my dips. I've got carried away and did way more cucumber than I need, but you know what? We'll always eat. Okay, so let's see if we have any questions. Yes, your mandolin, Kathleen. Hey, Kathleen. Okay, Kathleen used to 
work with me. I miss Kathleen very much. I miss Kathleen too. See, there you go. Everybody misses Kathleen. Okay, so we've got our cucumbers done. Now I'm going to cut a pepper while she's coming away. Actually, yeah, let me cut a pepper now. So I want to show you how I cut a pepper because what did I, what, <laughs> see, you already know what I'm going to say. What was my number one complaint about you? Okay, I don't like the whites. I'll preface that. I hate the whites. It makes me want to throw up if I get white near my mouth. Like this white stuff of the pepper, you mean? Yeah, and I also don't like, you know this, I will not let one seed stay on my pepper when I go eat. <laughs> right, so when Alexa would cut a pepper, she would chop a side. Yes, I did it. Chop, oh my gosh, chop a side. So she would kind of chop three sides, and there would be at least half of the pepper left behind. Mm. I do the tops and the bottoms now. Okay, so she's at least a transition to tops and bottoms, so that's good. So this is the easy, super easy way to cut a pepper. So I've cut the top and the bottom off. You can see here that now I can just pop that off, and I don't have any white icky bits that she's not going to eat. Okay. This is what I have left. I have a stem. Okay, so that's what we've got so far. And then I'm going to go into my open pepper, and I'm just going to go in along the bottom with my beautiful little ceramic knife. And, oh, hang on, there's a little bit of white stuff there. Let me get that last piece. Judging but <laughs> now you can see I have a beautiful, no white stuff pepper, all right? And then I can just give this to the chickens because the chickens love the seeds. And here's our waste, people. Now, if you have more waste than this from your pepper, you've just learned a new way to cut your pepper. <laughs> now, I'll show you my actual waste in the end because the pepperator will eat the thing. So you should go into your next thing, darling. Okay. Okay, so she's got her trio made. That's a lot of seasoning. I probably could have put half as much, but whatever. It's going to be delicious. Okay, so now these white things that she can't or won't eat, the dog will eat them. So, you know, don't waste any food. My preparator will go and take those and eat them. So now all I've got left is this. Okay? I'm starting the ooey gooey queso. I've got a cup and a half. Yeah, a cup and a half of milk in there. And And you can see I'm not a super like super fine detailed cutter like I really am not. If you want super precise cutting, my cooking class is not the place to get that. But I'm not going to have any waste, <laughs> right? So it's not maybe going to be the prettiest little dice you ever did see. But we won't be wasting any food. Okay. There you go. Karen's doesn't like the white bits either, so you have you have a support. I don't think anybody likes the white bits, yeah, right? Yeah, some of you guys will just eat it and make it not weird. Yeah, some people do eat the white bits. I don't understand that. Yeah, they leave it, and I'm like, mm, I'm okay. I don't want Greek salad. Thank you. <laughs> Stick your favorite food on her. I know. That's what I mean. That's what I told you. Just I'll pass it up. Oh, okay. So, okay. I would love a consultant on there to tell everybody or a customer, whoever's got one of these ceramic knives, please talk about it. Please share your love of the ceramic knife. That's our first topic of the evening for you to share on. I'm done using that. Oh wait, no I'm not. I need some, I want to have some peppers on my plate. Okay, so um, we're just going to throw that in the microwave. Yeah, now, this is really sturdy, but oh, yeah. because, oh, because yeah, I know. This a lot sturdy. And it, it fits in small microwaves. Okay, so I need to order me one. And I can't. Why? Because, well, you have to be a host this month to get one. So I've been a host for 19 years, basically. <laughs> I have a feeling my steamer might be gone at the end of the evening. Yes, so um, now, did you see what I did? I just basically, I have like these two easy pieces that I can make like perfect little pretty slices now if I want. But I see there's a tiny little bit of white, so I'm just going to skim that off. A great cheater. A little bit more dog food. Okay, so I'm just going to do a quick cut with a beautiful ceramic knife. I don't want you to be sitting watching cutting. How, can you, how exciting is cutting? But there we go, we are done. So now we've got another color and another vegetable, because we really want to load our charcuterie board with vegetables so it's, you know, a little bit healthier as we're eating this. Um, yeah, so strong and so sharp, ceramic knife. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so now let's go on to Del Air meatballs. Great machine. Let me just take the noisiest cheese package on earth out of the know. equation. She, she, she sees she doesn't like her anymore. She's right. here. I think that's awesome. <laughs> She's only been gone, not even a year. Goodness me. Okay, so. Donair meatballs. This is our next recipe tonight. 
I want you to see, I'll take a look at this donair package. One of my favorite things, I don't eat a lot of meat. I'm primarily plant-based. Uh, and donair is amazing on beans. It's good on hummus. I made it the other day. I can't remember what I, I think I just did. I just did patties. Oh yeah, donair patties. I did it. I don't know, pan and made patties. So now, it's... And breakfast. Cold, cold weather back there, that's a breakfast sausage. Ooh, there you go. Donair breakfast sausage. Look at these new ideas. Now I'm just going to go in and squoosh this up. Now it's, I can go up to a pound and a half of beef with a package of denier, but you know what? I just like that flavor, flavor punch in the face. So I'm going to go with one package because there's never too much flavor for my own. And darling, your fridge is open. Okay. Fridge is going to start growing up soon. Okay, so I want to know what do you do with your donair? Next topic of the evening, tell me all the things you do with your donair. I think Avril's here. I know Avril loves donair. Four ceramic knives, I love that. Oh my gosh, how amazing. Okay, did we steam those potatoes or did we put them over there and forget about them? No, did we cut them? Okay, so I would have had the cheese grated in advance had I looked at the recipe and remembered it required cheese. But you know, here we go. Okay, so I've got my donair meat. Hang on, I gotta wash my hand. Okay. I think you have a lot of cheese. This is going to be the queso, queso is the queso ever. It's a cup. Okay. Cup for cup. Cheese measures like I do. A very generous cup. It's perfect. Is that not a cup? Sure. It probably is, actually. Maybe I've been under measuring all the time. Now, here's the deal. I can roll meatballs with my hands. Ew. Why would I if I don't have to? So I'm going to use my tiny little melon baller. Okay, so what's your next thing while you're waiting for that? If we're going to get through this, we can't do one thing at a time. That's not how this kitchen works. So I'm putting my meatballs right in my steamer. I'm just popping them in here. These are like speedy meatballs. They're not going to be the prettiest meatball any, anybody ever did see. And I'm not really concerned with that because really it's about the flavor. Uh, there's going to be a lot of other like super pretty. Okay, I'm knocking the edges off them so they're not super ugly. Um, one of the things I love to do with the donair package is chicken with lemon or lime, olive oil, and no donair. Donair Mediterranean chicken or Mediterranean lemon chicken. OMG! Okay, how many meatballs do we really want? Uh, some more. Okay. Oh, she'll take some more. Okay, so let me put eight meatballs in here. Oh, Monterey Jack, yum. You, you know what? It doesn't matter. Yeah, we don't need that much. So she's going to make now roasted garlic aioli. If you have not yet made hot donair dip with roasted garlic aioli, your life is not complete. You must go do that. Just take the meat out of the picture here. Have you had that last? Mm. Did that hot donair dip? I don't remember if you had it. So when roasted garlic aioli first came out, what did you do? Do you remember? I mixed it out of the jar. Is that what you're talking about? Well, no, you would make this all the time. She would be constantly making this. She would just, you just eat it with a spoon. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I remember licking it out of the jar and just taking a photo of me and posting it. That's yeah. all. Yeah. So you could just eat the roasted garlic aioli right out of the right out of this bowl. Okay. So I've made my eight little super fast meatballs. I'm gonna throw those in when my micro's empty. Of course, I could do them on the stove, but I have too much on the go to be putting something on the stove right here. Okay, so Let my next thing. My next thing goes first. Okay. Fine. Um, uh, half a cup or so, you think? Yeah, and sure. And then I put a teaspoon or so of, of the ale mix, and then I'm going to put a splash of lime juice. It calls for lemon, but I'm doing a little bit of lime. Oh. There's measurements right on the side of the I jar. Know. So there you go. So if you're not sure how much you have, and you do not dirty a measuring cup, if you actually want to know how much, Use your same bowl that you're going to mix it in, and then it's your measuring cup and your bowl, right? Okay. One last dish is always a win. Okay, so now I've got a aioli here that I made um, at Lori's cooking class the other night. And this is an African, I think it was Lori's class, African sweet potato stew mix. Okay? African sweet potato stew mix. This was the sleeper hit of the season. I knew it would be a top seller, 
And I knew that even when they may be having an unusual name for some people, that once they tried it, they would be sold. So I made this aioli the other day, and I just wanted a little bit spicier. So, and here's the thing. Obviously, this says African sweet potato stew mix. Who cares what the package says? You just do you, honey. You just put it in stuff and make food. So I'm making some African sweet potato aioli because it is ridiculously good. All right. I'm cutting my avocado to make some guacamole, which is my favorite thing ever. I will not eat, you know this. I literally have never eaten store-bought or restaurant or even in Mexico this big thing of guacamole. Oh, yeah, they're tough. I don't touch it. It looks disgusting. I hate any guacamole that is not epic here. That's the only, I literally have not eaten any other guacamole. Well, there's your sale for the guacamole. I won't. And I, I got my shit. And I got yeah, the, oh, yeah, that's a good idea. That's what I got. Did you cubes? Okay, beautiful. And then it matches easier. Smart. Smart, smart. Okay, so now I'm going to talk about simply better baked beans. Now, even if you are not a baked beans person, that's not relevant. There's no beans in the package. Okay, so I just want to show you as well, because a lot of people say to me, oh, how come it's in a package now? I want it in a jar, because before we might have had simply baked beans in a jar, and you would just use a tablespoon or two. Well, watch this, okay? Let me show you. I've got a little empty, standard-sized Epicure jar here. It's got a label because I dumped my spice out over there in a bowl. So watch what happens when I fill this from this Simply Better Baked Beans package. Okay. Do you see that? Hopefully you can see that. The jar is almost full. So if you were to have three packages of Simply Better Baked Beans for $10.50, you have the equivalent of two and a half jars of Epicure seasoning. You don't want this in a, in a jar because you're going to pay more for it. So you really want it in the package. And I encourage you to think of the packages as just a seasoning. It doesn't matter that it's in a package, that it has a meal on the back. Everything has a recipe on the back. So you're watching us here tonight not really following recipes. Everything has one, okay? So don't worry if you're not, uh, if you need a recipe. We've got it. Okay, so I'm just going to pull out your case on the jacket. Oh, yeah. Okay. So we're going to just have a little look-see at her Wish case. So, yes, freezing guacamole. Absolutely brilliant to freeze your guacamole in big batches. That looks oh, good. It's nice and thick already. Okay, well, so there you go. So I even if you don't easy. follow the directions, it's still good. Um, okay, so how, how long did you cook it? Five. Okay, so let's just show them before you put the cheese in. So there's our queso. It's got like our nacho-y, delicious um, poblanos or whatever's in here. Okay. Yeah. Then it lets go with the cheese. All right, there we go. Yeah. So that's good. We're, while she stirs that, we're going to throw the potatoes in the microwave. I'm going in for four minutes. I have a feeling they might be overdone in four minutes, but I'm not 100% sure. So, you know, that's how we learn. Okay, now, next thing I'm going to do, store about hummus, but I'm going to take it up a notch. That's good. It's not great, but it's going to be. All right. I want me some hummus. I always have some of this in the fridge. So I'm actually going to go in with the Simply Butter Baked Beans. I'm just going to put a big old spoonful in there, stir it in, and this is going to season up and give me this super rich, super flavorful, extra zip. Now, it's got big chunks of vegetables. This is one of the reasons that Simply Better Baked Beans is my go-to for tons of things. It is amazing in some rice because, I mean, I don't know if you can see it. Hang on. Let's put it on the plate, shall we? Look at those big old, look at that. How beautiful is that? Oh my gosh. I get really passionate about my food. I know. <laughs> okay, here we go. Hummus with Simply Better Baked Beans. So that's ready to go for our platters. Easy peasy. Now, the next thing I'm going to make is a Greek feta dip. This is one of my favorite drips. Let me just move this out of the way because anybody who's cooked with me before knows that me knocking things is not uncommon. Same. I don't think we've ever used it. Yeah, 
I would put a clean spoon <coughs> in the. Um, clean enough. Clean enough. <laughs> no. I don't see anything okay. there. I can see green stuff. Come on. I didn't look at it first. I just used it. All right. So don't do that. I'll scoop it out because it, it, it'll spoil the tusser. I'll, I'll scoop out the green. Of course you will. Thank you, Dom. All right. Next, what are we doing? Um. Okay. Yes. Green cut a dip. I just need to soften. The potatoes will be a minute and a half. So let me just talk to you. Okay. So. Thank you, darling. Now I don't have to worry about my uh, don't get spoiled any fast. Wow. Okay, so I want to know, what do you put on your charcuterie plate? What's your favorite quick outie to put out with all your crackers and your vegetables and your fruit and your cheese? What are you putting on there? Tell us all about it. Uh, because I need to I need to kill a minute and 30 seconds while I wait for my microwave. Uh, now, a few more important things about after I'm going to show you a few more of my favorite things. Now, the steamer. So this is a microwave cookware piece. And though, if you don't cook in the microwave, it still saves you time in the oven, and it is the most amazing oven cookware for baking. Uh, make your casseroles in it, you can do your cakes in it, and they just pop right out. You don't have to grease the pans with the flour and the oil, all that nonsense. Um, okay. So now, what I also want to know is, in your steamer, come on, who's with me? I think I saw Angela's name. In your steamer, what are you doing? Rice in 10 minutes. Let's talk about all the ways that your steamer can save you time. Popcorn. In my microwave, two minutes and 25 seconds, and my popcorn is ready. So if you use your microwave, it's amazing for that. If you don't, maybe it's not the perfect tool for you, unless you're looking for a lovely baking dish that can save some time in the oven. But we have all sorts of things, and all of our recipes can be made on the stovetop, in the oven, on the barbecue, no steamer required. But for those of us that have a steamer, <laughs> See, the this table. is good. You must taste test. Because how do you know if it's good or not, right? Okay, so our potatoes are done. I'm going to soften my cream cheese for the Greek feta dip. And Alexa, I think you're going to make salsa. Oh. <coughs> is this just crushed tomatoes? So, yeah, this is just, um, I buy the small diced tomatoes because I don't like my salsa to have like those big old honking tomatoes and I didn't want to have to break it up. And so we love cilantro, so we've got cilantro added. Now the jar says, I think two tablespoons per cup, right honey? Two tablespoons is one cup, yeah. Okay, so we've got almost two cups of salsa. Okay. We're only gonna go with a tablespoon and a half. Okay, but I'm gonna eyeball it. Yeah, she's gonna eyeball a tablespoon and a half. But here's the thing, if you make it at the, right, at the quantity set on the jar, it's like medium in Mexican scale, okay? Huh. It's not medium in Canadian scale or American scale. Well, maybe it's not, depending on where you are in the US. So I would be adding less to start and then just add a little bit more if you want I, a little bit more heat and punch. I'm thinking that I, needs more. I can already tell by looking. I know what it looks like um, when it's the way I like it. So there we go. And of course, do this with fresh tomatoes, right? I just only had two and I didn't buy them, so I wasn't going to use them for the salsa. So that's why we used the can. You're going to put that out, so. All right, so I don't now, like now we're on to cheese balls. We're just basically collecting all of our different parts. So we're going to be putting together our platter soon. Okay. Sticky and gooey. Yes. Oh my gosh. You're uh, making, what's that, Rice Krispie squares in the steamer? Oh, yeah. Or hot buttered rum. What was oh, that name? Hot buttered rum, Rice Krispie squares. Popcorn? Square. No, it's popcorn. Hot buttered rum popcorn. Remember? We went through a month phase. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We both. I would come up at like 9 p.m. and be like, hey, mom, do you want some, do you want some popcorn? I think she's big here. Yeah, she's a bad influence. I know. Uh, okay. Okay, so I need to wash my hands. Let's again. see what people are doing with their steamers. Sticky gooey. Yes, yes, yes. Salsa. Okay. So I've got a block of cream cheese where we're making Greek feta dip. Easy peasy. Like, watch how much, how much time each of these individual things takes. Like, seriously, it's just mere minutes. Okay. Okay. Cream. So, you're doing cheese um, balls. Shall I? What flavors would you like to do? You want to do it in a little bowl? I do want to make So, we need your suggestions now. What would you put in a cheese ball? We're going to make up some cheese balls. We're going to make three or four different kinds. And this is where you get to tell us what seasoning you're going to put in a cheese ball. And maybe we're going to take your suggestion. I just realized I'm doing this weird hand praying thing a lot. Anybody notice that? She's very gentle with me, isn't she? So, I don't know if you can see my amazing drawers as she pulls them out. I don't know if you can see yeah. that, but oh my gosh, they're so bright. 
400. Bacon. Oh, yeah. I'm glad I have oh, some yeah. bacon. What are you looking for? Um, I don't know. Whatever I want. Well, let's do some bacon. We're going to roll we'll in some, some bacon. Well, we don't have that. What do you mean? We don't have it anymore. Oh, uh, it's like, what do you mean? It's right here. So we're going to roll in some bacon for one. I saw some bacon so on I there. split it into littles? Yeah, let's make maybe four different kinds. Oopsie, I get some bacon in my Greek feta dip, so that's going to be awesome. Now, I'm going into the Greek feta dip with a little bit of lemon dilly. You know, and there's a recipe online. You can get it, don't worry. Because uh, I know back when I started my business, I absolutely could not cook by just flinging things together. What did I, oh, I put in lemon dip. Okay, I could not cook flinging things together. Um, and now I can because the, spit, the blends are so well blended that it's just easy to do that and I don't have to worry about it tasting bad. So I'm just putting whatever I have on hand from the Greek kit and dumping it into my cream cheese. Now, I want to talk to our Americans watching us. You've probably not had a chance to go in person to a cooking class and taste Epicure. Because Epicure's only been in the U.S. since last August, August. August. So this is an incredible opportunity. This is a ground floor company. My organization alone did a million dollars in sales last month. Just my team. So imagine the sales that Epicure is doing and the sales across the U.S. are extraordinary. Jeez Louise. Child, bring that back so where people can see what you're doing, please. So if you're in the U.S. and you're thinking that you're looking for an opportunity, please look at Epicure, of course, in Canada as well. But in the U.S., I know more people in the U.S. haven't heard of it. In Canada, everybody knows how amazing Epicure is and can't wait to have a class or become part of the company. So you are making? A, I made a better than bacon in that mm -hmm. And then a uh, cocoa crunch, which is my favorite. I okay. used to steal it and dump it in my palm of my hand. Mm -hmm. I used to find the empty cocoa crunch jars or half empty jars in her bed. Yeah. Uh, okay, so here's the thing, guys. Who buys Costco feta cheese? Right, like there's the giant vat of feta, right? When you go to Costco, it's like such a great price, it's delicious, but it spoils. So. I bring my feta home from Costco. I buy the dry feta, especially when it's oh. on sale. I bring it home and I just fill my little jars. So then I can just sprinkle the amount of dry feta I need into any old recipe. I don't have to contaminate it. And these actually live in the freezer. So I can keep that jar of feta going forever. Okay, so I put some feta cheese in there. There we go. Who's had the Greek feta dip before? I missed, but there's some comments, somebody's handling it. Okay, perfect. Now, that's Greek feta dip. It's got all the Greek flavors together. We're gonna to put on some cucumbers and some bell, uh, some red peppers so that it looks pretty. Now, let's just sort of make some rim because we're gonna start building some boards here pretty quick. I wanna know, what else would you put on your board? I haven't seen that pass through yet. Okay, so this is all sort of messy, so let's do something with that. Well. I don't know, turn it into something, I hope. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna make a cheese ball. I didn't, I, you know what, I need to just quickly scroll up and see what your cheese ball suggestions were. So what I put in the Greek feta was spinach, lemon daily, and Greek. Use any combination of two or three of those, um, and you can actually find that recipe, uh, we'll put the, the recipe in this after it's done. Creamy ranch with bacon, oh, I'm all over that. Okay, that's what I'm making right now. Excuse me. Creamy ranch cheese ball with bacon coming up. Do I have creamy ranch? Wait, I must have creamy ranch. I just, I thought I saw it earlier today. Oh my gosh, what is with my pandemic kitchen? You know what, I use so many meal solutions. Ooh, you know what, I'm just gonna make an African sweet potato, sweet potato stew. I mean, that just sounds weird, but come up with a better name for my cheese ball, will you people? I don't wanna call it an African sweet potato stew cheese ball, that's just, that's just awkward. Okay, so if somebody comes up with a super, super, super inspired name that everybody loves, you're getting a prize. Okay, so I'm going to do my cheese balls, but I really want to get like the flavor all the way into the cheese. Baked apple. Mmm. Yeah, okay. sweet ones. We don't really, you know what? I'm out of my, I didn't have any. Um, summer berry. I was like, how oh, do you do summer berry? Right, the tutti frutti is not available right now, so I don't have any 
So we're going to have our fruit, our sweet is not, normally we would do sweet cheese balls. Can we put more where the Oh, you want to do a caramel is? cheese ball? Oh. I think there's an open caramel sauce down here. Hang on just a moment. Let me show you my very fancy storage system. Okay. Are you as fancy as I am? Here's my storage system for my nail solutions that are open. Uh, just, oh, here we go. And here's how I keep them close with one of these or with a clip for my, you know, we're all about the food, not necessarily about the fancy way we make the food. So you're going to want to put this right in all the way through your, through your food juice. Oh. Yeah, so instead of just on the outside, just squish it with my fingers. you're just going to squish all of that in. So we're just putting caramel sauce mix in her cheese ball. Now, if you haven't seen it yet, we used caramel sauce mix to make caramels and candied apples. So, you know, there's so many things that you can do. Okay, so I'm quickly making, oh, this, okay, so we need the, still need a name for this beautiful um, African sweet potato stew cheese ball. Let me just figure out how to, I don't want to touch it. I don't want to make, there you go. I'm going to put a little water in my hands. I am if, not going to do that. If, you want, if, if your hands are wet and you go to make a cheese ball, so, yeah, okay, like you want to see the hard. difference? My hands are like actually too wet. Mine, it's actually falling out of my hands. Let's, okay. let's show you the magical amount. Okay, so my hands are now a little bit damp. And now I have a beautiful cheese ball with it. Go oh, wait, you gotta show your horrible hands. So I don't know if you saw how bad her hands are. Ah, you're dripping on my things. <laughs> anyway, her beautiful hands. Uh, so if you put a little water on your hands, that's your trick to making your, uh, I don't want to waste that, trick to making your cheese balls easier. I'm going to make one more. Okay. Now, I want to see some hearts for, from everybody that's had anything from our Greek line, the Greek feta dip. If you've had anything from our Greek line and love it, whether, it's, whether you've had the Greek meal kit or the souvlaki or whatever, uh, please drop that in the comments. And you know what? Because this is so pretty, let's try it as a cheese ball. Who thinks it's going to be a good cheese ball? This is, again, my baked, better baked beans seasoning going into a cheese ball. What do you think? Why not, right? I'm tired. I think we're keeping her up. I didn't have coffee this morning. Okay, so let's... Can you quickly just run through the seasonings that we use that are in front of you and throw them into a drawer and then we'll be ready to put some things on this camera okay. and put things together? Just everything? Yeah. Okay. Basically show them what we use. We use CCB Cocoa Crunch. Butter. CCB Cocoa Crunch, um, garlic and onion. Oh, uh, there's something Asking her not to bang so much because I know it really picks up. Spices, the order oh, okay, so yeah, you know what? She can't find the lid for this, and that totally makes sense because it's not a normal lid. It is a grinder top because... I also don't know where these go. Um, mac and cheese on popcorn with a little of the better than bacon and maybe some queso on your popcorn, that is like the trifecta. So if you have anybody in your life that loves... Well, maybe just put them over on the counter then. If you have anybody in your life that loves comfort food... A little less noise, please. On the, on the counter, not the noisy plate. If you have anybody in your life that loves uh, comfort food, that would be an amazing gift. So as you're making your list here tonight, really think about the people in your life, now I'm making this with my spoon, um, that eat, right? Because the restaurant gift certificates and the things that people used to probably do, um, really, that doesn't really work, you know, the same way anymore because who's going to, how are they going to get to a restaurant or... Right? So think about giving Epicures a gift so they can make fast, easy, delicious meals at home and stay safe during this pandemic. You know, and even otherwise. Who cares if there's a pandemic? You just want Epicure in your life. Okay. Now, that was my better than bacon cheese ball. I need to taste it. Mmm. My boss. <laughs> Cheese ball is. Oh my gosh, how cute and cute. All right, 
We still have to clean the counters. We can now we can put our boards together. We gotta get on this fast fast.
loaded, loaded. You want to have no space. Now we're using next month's host special. This is for the December hosts or anybody that hosts in November. So when you host a class this month, and for anybody that's hosting with us right now, you have the option for this beautiful steamer, very sturdy, very nice for the smaller microwave, and uh, you get three packages of rotisserie chicken seasoning with this steamer, or you can choose to wait, even though your never ever has to be cash in on December's host special, which is these little mini pans. Oh, she's, look, hers already looks pretty. Oh, shoot, I'm gonna be. I know, that's why I'm I already said, behind that's why I said yes. Yeah, yeah, that's why I'm already behind the eight ball here. Okay, I need my, aha. Now, as a host, think about getting a set of these tools. This is the saute spoon. This is the ladle. What? The ladle squishes. Have you ever had a ladle that does this? None of those stupid hard plastic ladle this will go right into the corner and take everything out of your pot. It is the best ladle going. Do you want one of these full of cheese? Or do you want it no clear one? I don't know yet. All right, well, I'm doing my cheese. I want the punch of white, right? Because here's the thing. When I was deciding what I was going to put together, I've already, of course, I've already got a beautiful, beautiful action going in my bowl, right? So why wouldn't it look like that? Plus, let me grab one of these. Um, totally distracted by my mess. Oh yes, I want to have a wide variety of colors, right? So I had yellow peppers, I had red peppers, I chose to cut the red because I knew that the carrots were going to be orange, um, the, carrot, the crackers were going to be like sort of whitey yellow. Um, oh, there's one right here, Kevin. 10% left. Right here. Is it long enough? Yeah, it's six foot. Sorry, we're plugging Maybe. the phone in. My phone is at 10%. Look, see? Kevin just takes care of us all the time. Look at that. He's fixing. I might shake a little bit, but there you go. Ooh, nice. I didn't even shake. Okay. So, uh, you want to have a nice variety of colors. Greek feta dip. I'm going to do like a... I need a spoon. I don't want to do it with that. Um, you have all the carrots. Oh, more carrots. my child. Yes. Of course I am. Mm -hmm. Never possible. Yeah. Okay, so I've got my little pile of Greek feta dip. I'm going to put on some of these little diced, uh, what are these things? You know, the red things I cut? Peppers? Yeah, those. Put a, some little cucumbers on top with some color. I'm going to put a little stack of little cucumbers somewhere. Oh my gosh, hers already looks so much better than mine. Cheese ball. 
Weird. Weird. You go to the side of the end, roll this. Alright, I'm gonna roll my meat because, you know. Because you're stealing my idea. <laughs> Competition. Yes, my meatballs. I just put them in the oven. Gail, I totally forgot. I forgot about those guys. Yeah, totally forgot about them. Okay, so there's my fancy ass little pile of meat. Shut up! Good thing she's hit with me, so you actually get to see a free one. Okay, meatballs are done. Ha! Where's the brie? Oh yeah, brie! You need more than one. You need more than the uh, cheddar cubes. Oh, it's so pretty! What the heck? Okay, yeah. I'm, I've got to get on point here. I don't I don't understand. I'm not even okay. room for all this stuff. I've got a big wedge of brie. We're just going to shove that on there. <laughs> uh, so what, what, is, what are you doing? How are you making this pretty? Walk us through this action. I don't know. My brain is... I just shove everything in corners and make it look nice and change up the colors to make it look different in every area. Right. Oh, the kitty has found a potato. Oh, right, potato. Oh, I'm we made so much stuff we just forgot about things. The potatoes are done. So that was what? How many minutes? Do you remember? Three? Four? I don't remember. If anybody remembers, tell us. Um, I think that was about three or four minutes. We've got some beautiful cooked potatoes. We could just toss them with any seasoning or even just put them on just as, they're, oh, as they are. Of course, I'm the one putting on my platter, so they're going to look weird, but they probably look really pretty if they were on hers. No. <laughs> but I could use these potatoes to scoop up, you know, something. Queso with the, on a potato, that'd be really good. Where's the brie? Brie's up on the counter. I've got some meatballs going on mine, so I'm just going to pop these in here, and then I'm going to put some of my delicious roasted garlic aioli with my meatballs, put a little dollop on the top there. Okay, what else do I want? What else do you want? Do you have your extraordinary trio? Did you want any of that? I got that. I think the, the sauces look a little weird loose. Right. So you're going to you skip, the, skip the sauce I action? I got one. To me, the sauces are the best part. Yeah, but they're in a container. Wait, oh, there's containers. I know, but is there like a tiny little bit? Oh, I've got the ramekin? Yeah, we've got the ramekins. Oh, that's kind of Where are they? These here, right here. There's oh, one. cute. I'm doing walk in this one, so I can have more flavor. Well, I have more flavor. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm doing another little roll of meat. I don't know why. This because it felt like I needed some meat on there. Okay, so what do you think, ladies? Like the socks, Dana. Oh. Very, very seldom are my socks ever matching. I don't even bother. I don't even try. Um, okay, and I'm going to put a little bit of olives here on my Greek feta dip. Oh, I olives. Oh, and I don't have any grapes in here yet. Oh, and the cheese that she saved for me. Let's put that. See, now it's looking good. Now that she's not hot. green olives, too. I don't eat olives. I don't have green olives. I know, but they're mine. I think they're mixed with Okay, kitchen shears. OMG. If you do not have these kitchen scissors, you absolutely need them. They're only $15. I just cut right through the stems of my flowers that I got the other day, and like nothing, you know? It's awesome. So I'm going to cut a little chunk off my grapes, put a little bit of grapes on there. All right, what do I need? I need some red pepper to fill this little hole. So basically, you just keep grabbing stuff. That's how you, that's how you make a platter. Just keep shoving stuff on until there's no more place. Okay, that's the rule of thumb. So, uh, can we bring wine over? Yeah, come on down. I don't like wine. Mm. What do they need to bring you? I don't like any liquor. Perfect. Good answer since you're not no, making I am, it. I actually don't like it. I thought that was you a big answer. No, I do know that. Okay, so mine's done. Now we're going to take everything else and make a big one super fast. Ready? Wait, what? We're going to make this. this. With what? With this. With everything else that's left. Okay. Not so I'll put stuff on and then she'll make it pretty. How's that first plan? Oh, yeah. Yeah. You can see that she's like, I don't think that's going to work out. <laughs> 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 okay. 
All righty, well, we've got some extraordinary trio. This can be warm through, but we're doing it more as a cold spread. Um, so you can heat it, and we, you notice we didn't actually put cheddar in it. You know what? Because it's so good without it. You can just really take a base of green cheese and put any spice in it, it's gonna be dead. Right? No, no question. All right, oh, I did put hummus on my platter. Oh my gosh, my poor platter. It's one of my favorite things. But see now, look, what, look what I've done. I have brown and brown beside each other. That's not good. So I'm gonna do a little slide you. Bring another color in there. So that's the one thing you, you know, that's the one thing I know to watch for is if my colors are the same beside each other, I'm wrecking the whole sort of beauty of the board. Okay? So. Done. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nice. <laughs> that's a good snatch out of it. <laughs> Show uh, off. Yeah, we're going to have a shot of everybody. Okay. Here, I'm going to put some of these over here. You know, basically, we might as well just empty all of our all of our plates onto our boards. She's laughing at my board. Can you believe her? I'm, so I'm sorry. sorry. That's not true. <laughs> you versus my mom. Shush. You're such a butt. No, it's good. Okay, yeah. It looks good. Damn. <laughs> and I don't even think we have enough food to fill this one. Oh, look how good that is. Yeah. To make another board because she has That's made a, the board. Okay, wait. I need to. I need to add. I need to beef this back up. Get out of my way. I'm trying to stuff everyone. She's out. not even. Not even pretending mine's as pretty as hers. And well, I can't pretend that either. I'm not gonna say anything. Uh, you know what? I think if I didn't have hers to compare. That I think mine yes. is like super beautiful. Well, yours is super beautiful if it's not compared. Exactly. It's super beautiful. That's like if you compare yourself to some supermodel. I kick ass. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So Here's I hope you had some fun with us as we made some happy boards. We've got a lot of dips. I think we made like 15 things here today oh, for you. And you know what? I want to tell you. Yeah, she's got a big platter to work for. for Friday. Oh my god. If I just put a saran wrap over it and bring this whole sheet to work, I'm gonna have some happy, happy pecs. There you go. That's what's happened today with that. Okay, so uh, for anybody that was watching, if you are booking your own class, you're gonna be able to get that awesome round steamer that she's stealing and taking home, or you can, you can get that for, as your host special, you can get the sheet pan collection, you get a half price item. And when you're here with a host, when you book your own class, you get your host an extra half price item. So make sure you help your host out, get her an extra half price item, and you'll get an extra $20 yourself. Sorry, you're gonna get your host an extra half price item. Yeah, you're gonna get an extra $20 yourself when you have your own class. And whatever meal we cook for you, whether it's Greek or Asian or just make some dips, it'll be absolutely delicious and your friends will have new inspiration for what they're going to cook. So I want to see like who enjoyed themselves. I want to see like a little, you know, some love. Give my daughter some love so that she, uh, so that she can see how much uh, you enjoyed her because you know, that'll help me can have her come back. I see one, two, three. Okay, Thanks, it's starting. Now we've got some love for my baby girl. Okay, well we have a lot of food to eat. She's I apparently win. gonna I be win. in. You can all say that I win. Look, and you wasted your little cheese. I know, because it doesn't fit. Um, so, I hope you got some fun new ideas. You can have some fun in the kitchen with your family putting this together, right? All we did is we threw all the things on the counter and they just went crazy with it. Um, and it, we just got to show you that you don't really need a recipe. You could just dump some things in some other things and it's going to be good. So, better baked beans. If you haven't had that yet, get it. Who cares about the fact that you don't eat beans? If you do, it's delicious for that too. But if you don't, who cares? Buy it. Um, better than bacon, that's a bean based, okay? So for anybody that's looking for a soy free, meat free bacon, better than bacon is the product for you. Anybody anywhere in the country that's having your own class um, or wants to start a business, talk to the consultant that shared this video with you so that you can get started with us and just have a whole great time with us, right? Because gosh, we have a lot of fun. 
So I want to thank you all for joining us. Um, the little pup raider and the kittens are now going to get to eat all like the random bits. We'll get to, we'll feed them up because they've been waiting for dinner as we've been cooking. And then we have a feast on our hands tonight and tomorrow at work. Thanks everyone. Bye.